What is up my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King John City 4 and today people we're gonna keep on talking about Call of Duty and this time it's not about Call of Duty World War 2. This time it's about the Modern Warfare Remaster. So lately guys there's a rumor going around in Twitter saying that Gamefly.com accidentally posted a sale for the Modern Warfare Remaster standalone for the month of July. What the hell Activision? I mean at this point you're just seriously seriously money hungry. You just eat whatever even ass included like it's just insane. Um, what do I think about this whole situation? I think they should have done this since day one. I think it would have saved the community because right now the community, it looks like it just took a nuclear explosion and it currently looks like Fallout 4 without the quest though because you know the quests are pretty much fun. You know, you can do a lot of stuff but you know, it looks like Fallout 4 without the quests and also without the badass suits and all those, you know, you know, enemies they can take their clothes off. Like, you can't, like without all that, without all that fun stuff, pretty much that's how Call of Duty looks right now. Because like barely anybody's playing it, <laughs> you know. In order, in, and also, in order for you to play the Modern Warfare Remaster right now, you have to buy the Infinite Warfare game for like sixty bucks. It's like still like its regular price, man. So it's insane to be honest. It's insane they're doing this. It's just I didn't expect it from you know Infinity Ward, you know the company. Because lately that company has been sucking balls. Y'all have to admit that Infinity Ward, the company, hasn't been doing anything good in the past six years. Ever since Modern Warfare 2, this just has been going downhill. Of course, they took part of Modern Warfare 3, but it was mostly made by Sledgehammer Games. So, I don't know what that company is doing, but that company has to go. I know they're the, like, the gods of Call of Duty, you know, because they created Modern Warfare 2 and the Modern Warfare, you know, the regular one, the Call of Duty 4 game, but, uh... After all this debacle over the, their last two games, this just have been terrible, including Call of Duty Ghosts. Call of Duty Ghosts, they released a lot of DLC that had nothing to do with the damn game. Snoop Dogg voiceover, a bunch of camels, a bunch of MLG camels, bright ass camels, like what the hell is even going on with that game? Like so far I think Sledgehammer Games and also uh, Treyarch has been doing a great job. But it's just that this one company, you know, Inf Infinite Ward, I, I mean it's just not that good. And Infinite Warfare, it just sucks balls. And I know a lot of players are going to be defending that game, saying like, oh, you just got to get good. and You probably suck. That's why you hate it. Like, to be honest, how many people are playing that game? Because if you jump over to Ground War, nobody's playing that damn game mode. That's how much this game sucks. You can't even play Headquarters either. So, like, it's just a terrible game overall. Nobody liked it. Even the movement system sucks. So... I think Activision should really chill out with the money hungry situation because I know I know their last few games have been flopping because it's gone, gone futuristic but like, come on have some dignity at some point. So um, my final thoughts about this I think you know the Modern Warfare Remaster should have been released standalone since day one. They would have sold billions of copies and everybody would have been going back to Call of Duty and posting badass Modern Warfare Remaster videos instead of Infinite Warfare videos because that one sucks. Nobody wants to jump in the jetpack and it should have been released since day one. So those are my thoughts about the Modern Warfare Masters, you know, Gamefly. God damn it, man! You should have, you know, I wish you can sneak it in, like sneak it in, like maybe like two months after the release or something, because you guys knew all along. God damn it, man! You know, at least try to screw screw Call of Duty over, because they screwed us a lot more than you guys are trying to do right now to them. So, uh so anyways, what do you guys think about the situation, about Gamefly releasing, you know, information about the Modern Warfare Master being a standalone game? Do you guys think it's a good idea that it's a standalone right now, or it should have been since day one? Leave in the comment section, guys. I'll read them later. So that is it. If you guys want to see more Call of Duty topics or more Call of Duty gameplay like the one in the background, let me know in the comment section. And also, leave a like on the video. I appreciate likes. So I'll see you guys later, and subscribe for more topics of Call of Duty.